Hello everyone. I have a great surprise for you today and uh, well it's a great surprise for me. Hopefully it is for you. Uh, as some of you know I do metal detect and as of recent my MX support has quit. It said enough is enough. So I had it sent back to the factory for some warranty work and this is all that's left of it. So it's at the factory. Uh, I talked to them on New Year's Eve. They said send it back, but it would take approximately 15 days for them to get to me. And as you all know, all you metal detectors out there know that 15 days without a machine is not a good time. So uh, I sent it back on the 2nd, and they emailed me and said that they got it on the 7th. I sent it today. Anyway, uh, they said they got it and said it would take about five days for them to get around to it. After they diagnose it, they would let me know, but it's under warranty, so it should be taken care of. Uh, after that, then they would send the machine back to me, and I would get a tracking number. So, if you are tracking with me, that's a long time in detector days. So... What I went ahead and did was I made that purchase that I've been wanting to do, and that's the Mountain Lab Equinox 800. So don't get me wrong, I'm not knocking the MX Sport. I wear my MX Sport hat in my videos. It's a great machine. I love detecting with it, but I had to break down and get the Mind Lab. I even got a hat for it. So once we get around to it, we'll start sporting the the, the new hat, but. I'm going to be honest with you. I got home. It's late. I destroyed some General Tso's chicken. And on my porch was this box that's sitting next to me. I'll show it to you in just a second. But what I want to do is the same thing that everybody else does when they get a new machine. And that's the unboxing. But the My Lab's been out for several months now. And everyone has their own unboxing video. So, because I'm tired, what we're going to do is we're going to get online on the Google And find out on YouTube... Somebody else that's already done this before, so we can speed up and get through it. So, here we go. YouTube, YouTube, here we go. Uh, Mine Lab Equinox Unboxing. Maybe we should do 800 unboxing, because that's what we got, the 800. Alright, what do we got here? No, no. Unboxing and assembly. This guy looks handy. Well, this is Larry Hops from Saving Local History. Okay. So maybe you might have saw this pick. So it looks like we got us a good one here. So I got my uh, MX Sport over here, my Fisher T-shirt, and my Mind Lab hat. Let's do this. Picture that I put on here yesterday. This box I just received. What you can see the address or not? Get around our app pairs. Uh, no, and that's something like a new detectors and Texahoma and metal detector. This is David Finley. Let's just see what's in here. Alright. So we're cutting the box open. I'm going to throw it. It's a GoPro, so you're going to have to bear with me. Well, I'm not a pro either. That's why I called you. I forgot scissors. Hang on a second. Yes, here we go. I had to be that guy. We should be good there. Got it. I don't wanna get a I wanna get too far ahead of slick here, so hang on a second. Can y'all see it okay? Here we go. Let's turn it just a little bit there. Alright. What could it be? What in the world? He just said, what in the world could it be? I thought he knew. Alright, hang on. 
I'm starting to doubt him. We're gonna have to speed this up. Christmas present. We're gonna speed this up a little bit. Okay, there we go. He's got it out of the box. Equinox 800. Yep. So I'll show you the box, right? Equinox 800. I sold my AT Max. I would have sold that too. I hope I can get one of these, but they got some backlog. I didn't get a chance to buy one. So I got a call that they had one in stock. I guess I gotta stand it up, you know. I'm gonna open it upside down. This guy looks like he knows what he's doing, doesn't he? Alright. Then I just kinda show it to you. Alright. So thanks, Charlie. Charlie and Andy Savage. David Finley takes a home of metal detectors. And then some papers. Paperwork. Open box 800, I got that too. All right. Getting started, guys, in several languages. Yep. Got it. Okay, let's just take this thing. I'm not going to spend a lot of time because there's a lot of unboxing. I like that too. Let's not spend a lot of time on this. These folks got some place to be. 11 inch coil. I can't see it too good here. All right, we got it. Now, pull this box out. Well, where's mine at? Oh, yeah, okay, here we go. Make sure I get everything. The arm cuffs. I'm gonna show you that strap yeah. like he's doing there. Yep, he said we're gonna put it together in a minute, so it's holding to it. What else we got? Wireless module. Yep, wireless module. We're gonna open that. Hey, he's moving quick. Alright. Yep, there we go. Mouth upside down. Oh, yeah, mouth upside down. There we go. And just set it down right there. Some bubble wrap. Charging cable. Oh, sorry. Charging cable. Yeah, got gotcha. checked. And another charger cable. We got, got some. One for the control unit and one for the wireless launcher. And we're just going to throw it all down in a pile. And looks like a bunch of screen protectors. He just got he's got everything thrown down right here in a pile like he's never been to IKEA before. So we're gonna fold this empty box back up for some reason and put it back here. That done real well for me. Yep, that's what I like to hear. But I'm not talking any brain. Yeah, neither am I. Okay. Well, here's a control unit. All right, control unit, just like he said. It's not a good place to be filming this, but it's all the place I got from that. You and me both. Well, what are we doing here? Oh, we got another box. Oh, not the scissors again. All right, here we go. All right, that's what we got. Case. All right, case. We're gonna open up the case. What do we got? Just gonna show it. Instructions. Yeah, we got instructions. There we go. Wireless headphones. Yep. Yep, we got wireless headphones. Kind of got blurry on me for a minute, didn't you? All right, we got you fixed though. All right, what else we got? Mine didn't stick like his stuff. I guess that's if you want to use a wire. Yep. Yeah. Alright. 
We're just gonna put them back. Oh, let me show it to you first. I didn't plan this video, I just thought, well, I'll just do this. I didn't plan it either. That's why I clicked on your video. Oh, we're getting the shafts out. So we got to find the aluminum shaft. Which one is that? How do you know it's aluminum? Okay, plastic. I think we're done with this. Yep, yeah, that's a good idea. There's the box. I'll show you the box again. Hang on. Forget it. You've seen it. Just rewind it. Trying to keep my detectors in good shape so I can resell them. Okay. I don't plan on selling them. Oh, yeah, I got the headphones. All right. Where'd the main ears? Where'd you get the instructions? Hold on, hold, hold on, hold on. Okay, he just said he's going to put it together without mm -hmm. reading the instructions. Without reading any instructions, I'm assuming. That's what I thought he said. This goes up here. This goes up here. Let's see how easy this is without any instructions. All right. This one should put the arm. I'm just messing this whole thing up. Y'all aren't going to believe this. It's always. That's the back. All right, so here we go. I'm going to put this in, and then we'll start the video back up. Snap! Snapped. All right, here we go. Okay, you get the screw. See, this, what's, yeah, this is what happens when you don't put stuff in order. This is the Velcro straps for the coil cable. That wasn't so tough. That wasn't so tough. Read the instructions on this one. <laughs> now he wants to read the instructions. These are not usually. I guess that's, that's how it goes. Well, where does this one go? I'm able to do this without the instructions. That means it's far as simple. He's already putting the bottom on. Alright, that's easy. Oh, we're putting the coil on already. Coil? We're just putting the, these little tips right there. Oh, fasten again. I'm just now getting the coil on. Says it works. This guy's already up in metal detector. Says it needs charging. Before I forget, this guy was a big help though, for real. All right, here we go. I'm gonna like and subscribe. Maybe check out some of his videos later. You can do that to mine too if you want. So, let me tell you, this is the MindLab Equinox 800 Unboxing Assembly. You better watch him and not me on this one. And this is a Saving Local History channel. So check him out. And this is what I'm looking for, sorry. This little tab that tells me what goes where. Now, I have managed to successfully complete my Equinox. Now we're going to pull the fresh plastic off. Everyone loves doing that. Because we got to pull this off. But somehow. Come on. 
Maybe I should just leave it on. We gotta pull that dust cover off. We'll just hold on to it right there because we gotta put this English cover on right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that set up. Be right back. So I kind of just set it on here and then put it right in between those little buttons. There's a groove and then it fits all the way around. I'm trying to smooth these bubbles out. It's just like putting on a phone case. Then, well, the first step was to remove the sticker on the other side, and then we're going to remove this one. Maybe. And that should leave the other film on there. Oh, perfect. No bubbles. Well, there's a couple on the top there. I did, however, pick this up also. Got it on eBay for $23 shipped. And it's just a little case that goes over this. And then it fits right over top of the dust cover. And I'm sure I could take that coil, that coil off and put it on there too. Anyway, nice little deal there. So there we have it, the MindLab Equinox 800 unboxing. It really wasn't that difficult. Well, <laughs> you saw it. <laughs> you know the truth. All right, uh, well, that's it for me. I'm going to plug it in. It's a little magnetic, plugs right into the back there. I'm going to plug it in and call it a night, and I uh, hope you enjoy it, and see you back next time.